guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today I'm jumping in with a spirit message. I don't know who this message is for, I just want to kind of put this out there and kind of see who it reaches. Um, I used to do these, actually I don't think I've done a spirit message like in general <laughs> here on YouTube, uh, probably for a year maybe. I used to do uh, what was called spirit calling and um, sometimes I would do it for uh, subscribers and be like the first subscriber to say they would like a, a spirit message. I would do it here on YouTube. Of course I do have mediumship readings in my shop so I'm always doing mediumship readings uh, but I haven't really done them here on YouTube much so I was like you know I might want to get back into that or at least doing that every once in a while and I was inspired by my homegirl Tracy over at Two Rocks Tarot because she also hadn't been doing uh, them in quite some time and recently she started bringing that back and um, yeah I've I've been feeling like spirit has been wanting to talk and in a way that you know I, I would put it out here on YouTube because it does reach a wide audience um, and so I don't quite know who it's for or when the person might watch the video you know they might watch this video a year from now and be like oh my god that was a message for me um, and you're not not quite sure because you know spirit works in interesting ways sometimes I usually just like to kind of sit with the energy and I do that too uh, but I decided to use a little oracle deck to kind of also go with the energy that I'm sitting with so I decided to use uh, Mildred Payne's secret pocket oracle since I think that works fabulously uh, for spirit readings since um, the cards are really simple and that really works for me I don't like too much uh, distraction when I'm trying to connect with spirit I don't always use cards uh, most of the time it's just uh, what's going on up here <laughs> you know when I'm connecting so uh, I do ask that uh, this message that comes in is for the best and highest good for all who are watching and I do ask that the message be for somebody who does come across this video whenever that may be and if it is you please comment below uh, or get a hold of me Tara at kittensweightsandtarot.com if you don't feel comfortable maybe talking about it in the comments you can always email me so here we go I am going to ask and I've already grounded and centered and all that um, what spirit is trying to come through I do have to be careful because I'm up on the deck and sometimes the cards can fall between the floorboards here spirit is coming through This here kind of block one of the holes <laughs> okay kind of feel like it was this card okay we have cat um, and I am wondering if it's our old cat Presley because his birthday is actually coming up on the uh, 28th uh, he would have been 16 years old uh, he passed away before his 11th birthday uh, due to congestive heart failure and renal failure um, but this could also be um, you know his spirit bringing the spirit of somebody else's cat over maybe the cat really was a black cat um, but we'll see we'll pull a few more cards so it is the spirit of a cat that is crossing over any information to be gathered so that the person receiving the message knows that this indeed is their cat. Again, for everybody who watches this video, make sure that it's for everybody. Somebody who's watching this video, somebody who's watching this video. Need more information. Okay, so then we have moth. Okay, so usually when I think of moths, um, I do think of them more as nighttime, you know, on a but butterflies in the daytime. So I feel like the crossing of this animal may have been at night. But we'll pull some more clarifiers. Could you tell me some information about yourself? Mm. Okay, I feel like, whoops, I don't want to lose all these cards here. Hold on. Oh no, I'm losing the cards. <laughs> They're so tiny. <laughs> um, we get snake. So either, literally, this was somebody's cat that passed from a snake bite or um, 
a bite of some sort, you know, so they were out and about, uh, they got bit by something, uh, they got into a fight, it was an infected bite, something like that, but I do feel uh, some sort of bite, maybe actually possibly a snake bite. So, okay, so let's get some more information on this feline. Okay, and then, um, oh, looks like Wally's gonna be going out for his walk. So that is the dude back there. He's getting ready to walk Wally, uh, appropriate, because we're doing a kitty cat spirit reading. Um, here we have Candle. So I do feel, um, you know, Candle being like spirit, like the light, the spirit of this animal um, is is present with this person for a reason. So this, this, time might be actually around their their birthday or time of death so like i said um it could be the spirit of our old cat uh, possibly helping the spirit of somebody else's cat come through i do feel like spirits help each other out to come forward um why wouldn't animals help other animals so i do feel like uh because the spirit of our cat his energy is quite strong right now since uh the anniversary of his birthday is coming up um he might also be helping another cat who either past or does have a birthday around this time so I am feeling that that spirit there um, that's why the spirit is is strong at this time uh, can you tell me something about your owners so I am asking this so that maybe you're like wait that's me <laughs> so let me something about your owners something Right away, I got the vision of a, like a white, um, what kind of cat is that? A calico. I think that's a calico cat where it's got like the, the splotches, like it's kind of white, but it's got colored splotches like dark brown and orange splotches. And I think that's a calico cat. Tell me something about your owner. Octopus. So either um, your owner is really into seafood um, or your owner lives by the ocean. Something about water. They go fishing. They um, live by the ocean, very connected to the ocean possibly, and possibly uh, love to share some of their seafood with this cat. Uh, so okay, so with the octopus. I like that it's a, a 44, by the way. Angel number. Tell me some more about your owner. Maybe you possibly did share your, your food, your seafood. Um, then we have Chalice. So with this one, I get this one as an emotions card. So I do feel like the owner around this time, the former owner is, feels tremendously the passing of this animal so this may have been recent the animal may have uh, the cat may have passed away uh, some time ago but I feel around this time um, the owner of the cat uh, really really misses him or her so okay could you give me something about your gender I kind of feel like it's a male cat but what is your gender Okay, I am getting that this is a male cat house. Like, I was king of the house. <laughs> and I still reside in the house. So, what is your message? What is your message for your owner? Oftentimes in mediumship readings, either with... Uh, humans with animals or whatnot you know that have passed away um, the the rose is such a symbol usually people will talk about the the energy of the passed over loved one or the animal is extending a rose in the form of you know I, I want you to receive healing I want you to be healed and I want you to know that you are loved and that I still love you So I love that. That is a beautiful message. Um, and I'm sure that the, the owner is healing from the 
circumstances surrounding the death. I know that uh, with us, you know, even though um, our cat Presley passed away like five years ago, um, you know, there's still a lot of healing around that, um, a lot of trauma. Uh, so just anything about that situation. I know that what we always ask is that they don't suffer. Um, we have Wally up here now. So the dude has, has placed him from ground level to the, the balcony. So he's just kind of sniffing around. Okay. All right. Interesting, you know, that we had pulled the snake card before and I said that this cat had possibly uh, died from a snake bite or a bite of some sort. It looks like, um, like you tried to give it an antidote or some way that was like going to fix the cat. Um, but here we have the sun card while he's sniffing around up here. Um, so I see that it was, you know, like they, they understand you tried your best, you know, to, to help this animal. Um, and they, they knew that you were trying your best and, uh, as much as they did want to stay, um, just know that it, they did not suffer. They, you know, like I see like the sun as happiness, like, okay, you know, yes, you know, surely didn't want to get bit by a snake or whatever it was, but you know, the time between that and my passing, um, wasn't much time at all, which is like a, a good thing. Okay, um, and let's see, do we have one more card, one more message from your cat? <laughs> okay, so this one's an interesting card. Um, so either you have buried your cat by a tree or under a tree stump but at the same time it's funny because our well I mean it's not funny but it's a coincidence because our old cat is buried underneath um, like a a wheel of a tree you know like a tree slice that's like his little grave marker so uh, it it just could be that there's there's so many similarities between the two that's why I feel like our cat helped to bring your cat across so yeah interesting all right, so um, I do feel like the energy started to fade away uh, somewhere towards the end. Like, that's kind of all the message I wanted to get across. You know, like I just want my owner to know that I'm I'm cool. I'm happy where I'm at now. There's you know no suffering. Um, I'm still in the house with you. I love you. I you know want as much healing for you as possible. And they are still trying to help you with that, even from the other side. So anyway, if this was you, uh, definitely, like I said, contact me either in the comment section down below, and there goes Wally, or uh, email me, Tara at kittensweightsandtarot.com. I'd be more than happy to, uh, yeah, talk about your um, mediumship reading with you. And this was fun. Uh, I will maybe try to pop on every once in a while and uh, do these again, because I really liked doing them before. It's just, you know, I had had been doing so many other types of videos it's like you know <laughs> there's only only like so many videos that you could put in one week but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding 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 notification bell for more videos just like this and if you want to catch a reading from me maybe a mediumship reading i even have a rainbow bridge reading for your uh furry feathery scaly loved ones um, and head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com to book a reading. Um, there's also a link to my Etsy shop where you can pick up my Wally's World Oracle, Wally that was walking around here. And there's free shipping in the US. And over in my Etsy shop, I also have room and body sprays, I have salves, my brand new Goddess of the Rose beauty salve, which is what I have on my face right now, <laughs> and uh, bracelets and things like that. And if you want to show a little love, throw a little of my way, think about joining that KWT tribe over at patreon.com slash kittens, weights, and tarot, where you get lots of freebies every week, every month, every year. Anyway, I will catch you spiritual homies later. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.